a dynamic analysis. Let me show us the start. So if you do a dynamic analysis, you need to create a solution to calculate your normal modes because this method is based on a modal model, but you need to choose modes response simulation. If you choose that, you got a structure like this. What I already defined in the model, I defined a rigid spider element from the center to the four edges. So this can be seen here. It is a rigid element is RBE2. Then um, on the RBE2, I defined an enforced motion. An enforced motion can be can be created here. So you got here enforced motion location. Be sure for the location that you want to exit. Uh, exitite, or how do you say it in English? The motion location, so our fender will go in the y direction up and down. So, in the direction you want to move, you need that enforced motion. Hmm. The other side, I just define the fixed constraint, and the y direction, this one is free. So, I got a free in all direction except this direction where I defined an enforced motion. Then you solve this model. You get results. What results do you get? You get normal modes and a constraint mode. So a constraint mode, if I animate this, if I animate this, yeah, I put it on modal full cycle, a bit more frames that it's smooth, and, uh, less delay, okay. You see, this is the upwards and downwards motion in that enforced direction. So the software calculates what happens if I move it by one unit. Now, we also have then all the normal modes, normal mode 1. I'll go to the next one, normal mode 2, normal mode 3, normal mode 4. One warning on this model, don't show the last modes. Like here. Ooh, I'm... Yeah, I click too much. One second. Here you see very spiky results. To have a good analysis, my mesh sh should have been finer here. Huh? So if you have experts in the audience, just show them the first five modes and they will be very happy. But don't show them the last with the spiky results. That's not really nice. Now, we got our modal model. And now we're going to do a solution on top of this solution called a meta solution. So right mouse button, button here or click an icon on top and you can say new solution response simulation. Okay, so now you see a response simulation calculation. There's also an element toolbar for it. Response simulation yeah, like this. With the same options you can do from the navigator here. You got your normal modes. Here you got simulation details for uh, the response simulation. You can see all your frequencies and the contribution to each direction. So we're going to do an excitation in the y direction. Remember, in this y direction. So for the y I can see mode 2 is very important. Mode 4 is very important. 8, 9, but here there are modes that really are not important. I could say I don't include this one, deactivate. It's a bit faster to solve them, but that's not really needed. I don't do it in, in, in the label. You also see in the y direction that I got 90% of my mass. That's already quite good. So my model model will be good if I would only calculate the first, uh, the first uh, five modes. I only would have uh, 70%. You see? Now, 
there's damping so I can define damping on my modes I say here at the damping usually 2% I believe on steel welded structures and 4 for bolted structures something of, often uh, often used so this is my modal model and now I'm going to say what do I want to calculate that you do by saying a new event here or press the button here that's the same oh no not this one this one new event you say what type of event in automotive they use random to calculate over the life cycle machine where you see a lot of frequency in the frequency domain that they excite we're going to do a transient analysis something in a function of time meaning we do an excitation with a hammer or a shock and we look at function of the time what's happening we look for one second we say okay we got our event we now say we want an excitation a nodal translational so for example we say a motion on the on the on the nodes or if it's a shock you also if it's a shock you also can say uh, impact analysis so what an impact analysis really is it's an acceleration on a certain duration of time this form will calculate for you the acceleration so you can give in a velocity for example five meters a second you can say how long the pulse width will be think about a gsm if you drop it on a carpet you got a long pulse if you drop it on a concrete floor you got a short pulse so let's imagine the motorcycle it has a flat tire we come down and it's a short duration impact so for 2.2 seconds we're going to have a, an impact event the time step is in how many steps you want to calculate it always need to be at least one tenth of your pulse but to have a nice graph it need to be smaller also not too small or your calculation will take too long we can say we are only interested at the moment of impact not before impact here we only can have the y direction because remember here oh i have my auto function but here we only have a direction in the y so let's edit the excitation that's all okay so now we are ready we can say solve for modal response and now we can start to investigate for example we can ask show us the acceleration in this node for example or we can even ask two nodes up two nodes in the y direction you see here the acceleration of the impact and the acceleration of the node so there's a little difference in acceleration You see here our function and here you see the damping you see if you would have not enough time steps you would see a spiky graph so not a nice result we can also ask for element results those stresses for example or strain and say show me the van Mises stress at the top or the middle or the bottom of the shell for example the top of the shell and I also want to save it graphs are saved in an AFU file this is the extension of a file when you save it so I can say show me the stress in this element okay and you get graphs all positive because it's a von Mises stress always positive you see for every node and the center you get the result and you can see here the damping and the maximum stress location in function of time so let us go back now another thing that you can ask for is colored results response results you can say show me the stress uh, of those nodes here you can say show me from zero seconds to one second for every one step then you will have 1000 color results it's a lot huh? yeah. but it's possible so you can say 
show me for every maybe every five and if you say okay and if you go to results no not this one go here let me open the results you see iteration so you see 100 uh, even more 200 iterations so you can look at the stress here and say make me an animation above the iterations from step one up let me say stop play he makes a movie see yeah, and at the end there's not a lot happening it's really at the beginning maybe let me make a movie to that step pause play okay so this is a function of the time the stresses but it can be heavy so what i do in a demonstration i say show me a color result of the stresses here and i choose the timing from my graph because I start the graph, I can select one. I can zoom in on it and say of this point, I want to stress at that location. So I say, OK, it's generated. You can, can come here and you see at this location, the stress of 36 megapascal. Now, this is method number one. We also can say, if you're not sure when you have the highest stress, you can say, show me the peak results. So you can say for all those elements here again, not, I want to have the stress, for all those elements here, show me the von Mises, but the maximum von Mises that you have. So the software will now look at all the results and filter for the maximum stresses. In this case, if I go here, you see the maximum is the same as the one that I had at the peak. But sometimes if it's unclear, it's a very nice function. And the last one I show in a demo is the strength results. Then you can give in a yield safety or an ultimate. You give in a stress and the software will calculate for you the safety factor. So I can now say this for everything, look, look at the maximum value and compare it to my, uh, and compare it to my uh, yield strength.